Is it time to panic about the Seattle Mariners baseball team? Well, before we get to that, let's talk some raw numbers that show just how bad the Mariners offense has actually been because it's been putrid. Uh, let's start off with there's only been two teams in baseball as of Friday and the Mariners are about to play here in a few hours. So that could change today that have not scored five or more runs in a baseball game. And that's simply the Seattle Mariners and the Oakland don't call us Las Vegas yet athletics. That's two teams haven't scored five runs yet. And I know it's early and we're only what a week into the season, basically a week and a day now. So yes, well, that is not a good amount of runs. I also saw a, Tweet, uh, on Reddit, a thing that kind of made me laugh and kind of gave me the whole entire feeling of Seattle Mariner fans. And I think in general, this is so true. So, you know, it's a little bit of a, you know, one of those like circle things and go spot by spot. And so it starts off with, I'm excited to watch Seattle Mariners baseball. And then the next step as a Seattle Mariner fan is to say it's still early, lots of season left. After that, random luck-based winning streak puts the Seattle Mariners close to the playoffs and then towards the end of the season if we only had a few more games, won a few more games early in the season, and then we missed the playoffs, rinse and repeat. And that's why fans are already worried about this. Before we get to my thoughts and whether or not I think it is actually time to panic, let's go through a few more stats. Through seven games, Seattle's hitting under 200 as a team and a batting average of uh, and a collective OPS of 550, which is dead last in Major League Baseball. So it's not that just we're not hitting good for the players that we have on our team, nor is it that we're hitting bad for the Seattle Mariners. We are literally hitting as the worst team in Major League Baseball. Um, the Mariners are also striking out at a high rate, averaging over 10 Ks per game before their last game. And that comes um, after a severe strikeout problem last season, which the Mariners have aimed to decrease. But the good news here, folks, is the Mariners are now paying less money per strikeout because they did cut out some of those batters who struck out and were getting paid a lot of money. So at least Stanton paid people less to strike out. Like, a bit frustrating here, but is it time for the Seattle Mariners fan base to panic? Is it time for the Mariners to panic? And I would say yes and no. No, because we are literally one week into the season, and we all know baseball is 162 games, and this sample size is so minuscule, so small, so much of a blip in the whole entire bigger picture that most likely these seven games are not going to mean anything later on into the season as far as what is our performance, how we're doing, and whether or not like this is going to translate into a bad season. But at the same time, there is something we need to panic about, in my opinion. And that is pretty simply that the Seattle Mariners, once again, can't hit in April which means, you know, the Marine layers, T-Mobile Park, hard place to hit, which also means could it be possible that the Seattle Mariners are not going to be hitting as well in May? And if they don't hit in May, does that mean the Seattle Mariners are going to dig themselves into another deep hole where we're talking about whether or not we can make the playoffs and the season's over by July? And by the way, I know we made the playoffs two years ago, but if it wasn't for a 15-game winning streak or 14-game winning streak, we missed the playoffs. Last year, we missed the playoffs, but the only reason we were in the playoff conversation and playoff hunt was we went on a historic run again where we were able to make up a shit ton of games after the All-Star break because we got super hot. And this is where I would say it's not time to panic, but it's time to keep our eyes out because if we're going to rely on a random event like 14-game winning streaks or Julio Rodriguez breaking the major league record for most consecutive I think it was the most consecutive at-bats with bases reached or most consecutive at-bats counted with hits or whatever it might have been. You are going to really put yourself in such a big hole, probably a hole you can't dig out of. So, you know, it's not too, it is too early to panic. Don't be panicked. But if this continues here and we're what today? On April 5th, if we're looking at April 20th and we still can't hit, and the Mariners are four or five games below 500 or six games below 500, then talk to me about panicky. It's really frustrating as a Mariners fan. Every single year, we find ourselves in the same situation. We start off with hope, 
optimism can't hit dig a hole try to dig out of a hole and see where we are in august and september but i think this year we really need and i mean you see this with the espn power rankings we're ranked ninth in the power rankings There's like i actually still have so much faith that this team is going to turn it around and this is just a small little problem on the radar but keep your eyes out don't panic the Mariners are going to be hopefully, hopefully just fine. I think the reason, like, I think most fan bases and most fans do understand that we shouldn't be panicking here. But I think the problem is we've kind of, as Mariner fans, gone through this so many times in so many different situations that we're just, like, pre, like, cursor to want to panic about situations like this. It's like someone who, you know, has been in a relationship and been cheated on multiple times, right? You know, the person over there is maybe not doing anything wrong, but they go out on a, I don't know, a girl's night a few times and all of a sudden you're sitting there like, is this person cheating on me? And then you're putting yourselves in bad habits, bad situations, bad thoughts. And that's kind of what the Seattle Mariner fan base is doing right now. We have some PTSD with offensive starting slow and i'm just saying chill it out we're fine and hopefully you know this series against the brewers kind of puts us in a much different situation well thank you for watching my name is george on tap make sure you follow me everywhere this is the mariners on tap channel part of the sports on tap in seattle on tap network if you make sure you like and subscribe if you're looking for our son uh sorry our seahawks content make sure you follow seattle on tap here on youtube if you're looking for our Huskies content, we have our Huskies on tap page. So you can find us everywhere on the on tap, you know, Matra network. And thank you for watching. Go Mariners. And we'll see you guys next time.